I was walking through an airport two weeks ago and looked over and saw the magazine rack as I was on a fast pace walking, and I saw it said, The Bible, Newsweek. So I went over and bought a copy. Thought I'd love to hear what this highly spiritual magazine, <laughs> Newsweek, has to say about the Bible. The title of the article is, The Bible So Misunderstood It's a Sin. Obviously, time does not permit me to read the featured article, but let me just read a few sentences from it. Quote, The Bible is not the book many American fundamentalists and political opportunists think it is, or more precisely, what they want it to be. Nowhere in the Gospels or Acts or Epistles or Apocalypse does the New Testament say it is the inerrant Word of God. That is a blind man describing the sun. This writer goes on, it couldn't. The people who authored each section had no idea that they were composing the Christian Bible. And they were long dead before what they wrote was voted by members of political and theological committees to be the New Testament. The Bible is a very human book. It was written, assembled, copied, and translated by people. That explains the flaws, the contradictions, and the theological disagreements in its pages. You know, I've all, you always just want to, like, hand them a Bible and say, show me one contradiction. I'm waiting. Show me one error. So why study the Bible at all, this article concludes. Since it's loaded with contradictions and translation errors and wasn't written by witnesses and includes words added by unknown scribes to inject church orthodoxy, you now the hiss of the serpent is becoming the roar of a lion. Doubt, distortion, denial now deification. Notice, if you would please, in verse 5, the next step down this slippery slope is to sell the lie by saying to man, you will now become the standard of truth within yourself. You will now become like God. This is not a temptation to fall down. It's a temptation to fall up, to be like God. Only be like God the devil's way. Notice verse 5. For God knows that in the day you eat from it, your eyes will be opened. Satan promises Eve that if she will deny God's Word and eat the forbidden fruit, she will see as God sees. And she will know as God knows. And you will be like God. Knowing good and evil. You will know what God knows. And you will think what God thinks. If you will abandon God's word and if you will go the way I am pointing, you will know evil and you will know good. God is so good to us that He desires us to not have our minds polluted and defiled with the knowledge of evil that darkens those who bite into such a fruit. Paul writes in Romans, be innocent of evil, be knowledgeable of good.